Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. Let's talk about MMAT. Now, I hope you are having a fantastic day, night, wherever you are. Now, looking into the stock market itself, we're having about the 35th collapse here of the stock market. I wish we could say we haven't seen too many of these days, but sadly, being halfway through the year now, these days come more than we want at this point. And I do love these red days because we are able to buy up a lot of stocks we've been wanting that are on sale. But with these red days that we're seeing so often, it feels like it's hard to get ahead here. But I do want to focus on one stock that has been talked about quite a bit here. It has been one of the heaviest moving stocks here in the last 30 days on the market. And that's MMAT. So let's rewind the clock here just a tad bit. Now Torchlight Energy Resources effectively no longer exists. It does not exist anymore. It merged with Meta Materials. Now in that same news came news of a dividend payment and a reverse stock split, obviously of TRCH stock. And all of that right there brought a huge pop to Meta Materials around June. Now looking at that on a chart, obviously June 16th we have our first big walk up with the next big pop around the 19th and then following we have June 21st and then obviously after the merger everyone knew what was going to happen. You were going to have massive, massive sell off. Now a lot of people were hoping that this could somewhat stay around a double digit stop. But obviously it did not. We've seen this time and time again and this is how things are hyped and played up. And that's not bad because that's how a lot of people make money on the stock market. This is how a lot of stocks slash companies make money off their stock in general. Incredibly positive news with Meta Materials. Meta Materials has 160 million in cash with nearly zero debt. So that is very rare and that's very positive with a stock right now that is still very affordable to a day-to-day -day investor. Now that cash will obviously be directed to be used towards Meta Materials development alone since its newly purchased oil assets are being sold. But at this point you're wondering, is this worth investing in? At this point, we've had the merger, these two companies have combined, one has taken in the other, and now we're left with a company and we're wanting to know what are the financials going to look like even a year from now. So $168 million, yes that's a lot of money. But when it comes to a company, that's not a whole lot of money. It's positive, don't get me wrong, it's positive. But is it enough money to sustain what they need to further them as a company? But honestly, I don't really think that's a whole lot of money because we've seen so many companies just this year alone take stock offerings and end up somewhere around 500 to 900 million dollars just off stock offerings alone. So I am curious to see how long this 160 million in cash will last. We do know that Meta Materials is moving forward with looking for different partnerships, moving forward for their products and what they do here in the near future. So positive news as a company as they say they are furthering their business, what they do is their bread and butter, day in and day out business, what pays the bills. Now looking at the future for this stock, what we could expect coming here with MMAT. Now that they are on the NASDAQ exchange, they are brand new to the party here. I'm going to tell you exactly what I am personally thinking as an investor in this. As a person that holds money in this, as a person that's looking to the future, as a person who does not want to end up with crap stock here in the near future. Here is what we know and here's what we have to rely on. Meta Materials announced the conclusion of a multi-year project to develop a non-invasive at-home glucose sensing device. This enables patients to measure their glucose levels without drawing blood. So big deal. We're seeing a lot of companies this year, a lot of companies slash stocks bring in some pretty big volume and a little bit of numbers here and there for revolutionary medical products. We've seen this a little bit this year already and we've been watching these stocks and you know which ones I'm talking about. My feeling with this right here is that yeah, if you can get in now, if you can get in cheap, I still think this stock is probably going to go back down to a $2 to $3 range, especially, especially now that the market is really taking a hit and it's probably going to continue to take a hit here, especially going into later into this year where we are hearing that there could be another housing crash. We're hearing there could be more inflation and we don't know where the economy is going to be here. So the stock market could take a lot more abuse here 
in the coming months. And I think everything could really struggle from that, especially this brand new untouched stock here, especially when a lot of the big players, a lot of the volume has left already and a lot of them are probably not coming back. They've got their money, they pieced out and they're gone. So like I said, this company just started trading on the NASDAQ June 20th after the reverse merger with Touchlight, which was an oil and gas producer. And yes, I realize how weird all of this is right now. Very unique situation we have here with this. Now the company raised $250 million in a deal to go after cutting edge materials technology. With less than $1 million in sales last quarter, the company is still in startup mode. Still in start up mode. Still in start up mode. So what does that mean right there? Does that mean staying at a $4 stock or going back to a penny stock until we see some good quarterlies come out here? You be the judge there. A lot of you know what that probably means. You're probably looking at a penny stock here in the next few months. So you're either very bullish on this or you are gonna see this thing go up against a bear market. Now, I, I would say I'm bullish on this, but I am long, long <laughs> bullish on this, friends. The product that they are developing, the product that they are coming out with, very revolutionary, very cool, probably gonna make them tons and tons and tons of money, but that is going to take a minute. So when it comes to meta materials, do I think this is a great investment for the future of your portfolio? Yes, if this company can release this product to where it works, to where it's somewhat affordable to most general people, and they can get their hands on it, and we can start to see positive quarterlies come out with this company, yeah, you could be looking at a very nice stock you could be holding here in the near future. But like I said, this is gonna take a minute. Don't expect a lot to happen here because this thing is still being thrown around right now with some pretty decent volume. There's still a lot of short trading going on right now with this stock and people are still having fun with it. But I definitely expect to see this go back down to a 250 to a 350 range, play around right there. And if the stock market were to get even worse, yeah, this would definitely turn into a penny stock, a high penny stock, but nonetheless, it would take some abuse until we can start to see more positive news because don't forget, this is gonna take a minute and people are gonna get bored, people are gonna get impatient, and people are probably going to leave and go somewhere else. So friends, with all that said, I wish you all the luck with this one. I wish you all the luck in the stock market. And friends, remember, be positive, be you, and I will talk to you very soon. Best of luck, friends. Bye-bye.